Hello, this is Flights in Asia, and in this video, we'll be heading to the Scandinavian region in Northern Europe, where Scandinavian Airlines, or SAS, has announced it will make the switch from Star Alliance to Sky Team by September. In a release, the Stockholm, Sweden-based airline announced it will make the switch from Star Alliance to Sky Team on September 1. Prior to September 1 and until August 31st, SAS customers and frequent flyers will still be able to enjoy customer and frequent flyer benefits with most Star Alliance airlines until the switch. In preparation for the switch from Star Alliance to Sky Team, SAS noted in a statement that it is working with both the airline alliances for the past six months for a smooth transition. SAS also noted it is in advanced negotiations with Sky Team member airlines to develop and grow extensive commercial relationships, which soon SAS customers and frequent flyers will have access to 19 other member airlines and over 1,000 destinations. Speaking on its transition between airline alliances, SAS Chief Commercial Officer Paul Verhagen said, quote, We are thrilled to progress on our alliance transition journey and pave the way for delightful new destinations and loyalty program benefits across the world. Our focus now is to guide customers and our Euro bonus members on each step during this transition. We look forward to sharing more details as our journey progresses, with the aim to create a smooth transition to an exciting travel future with us. This is just one of the biggest moves that we have seen among the airline alliances in recent years and very significant as SAS was a founding member of the Star Alliance in 1997. However, in recent years, the airline has been facing financial difficulties, leading to an ongoing restructuring of its business. Then in October of last year, Air France KLM made a major investment in the airline taking a 20% non-controlling stake in SAS, which leads us to this announcement by SAS as to when it will make the switch from Star Alliance to Sky Team. After the announcement was made by SAS, the Star Alliance issued a statement recognizing and thanking SAS for the contributions it made to the airline alliance. Regarding the transition period, Star Alliance said, quote, During this transition, the experience of our customers is top of mind. Star Alliance, its member airlines, and SAS intend to ensure that this change is seamless for customers, particularly with respect to previously booked flights. Members of frequent flyer programs should consult their individual airline programs directly with specific questions related to mileage, accrual, and redemption for travel within the Star Alliance network. Star Alliance would then conclude highlighting its continued connectivity to the Scandinavian region with seven member airlines that will be continuing to operate flights to the area. Among them will be the six Star Alliance member airlines based in Asia and the Middle East, which will continue to operate flights to the Scandinavian region, including Air China, Air India, Singapore Airlines, Thai Airways, and Turkish Airlines, along with the other European-based airlines offering connections between the regions. That's all for now. I definitely hope you enjoyed this video. If you liked it, please like, comment, share, and subscribe. This has been Fights in Asia. Thank you for watching and have a great day.